So you had a good time then, Sal? Well, I won't bore you with all the details, but when we first arrived at our hotel... Oh, we're really starting at the beginning then, are we? I was just being polite. <laughs> oh, so, Johnny Connor, this is the lovely Sally Metcalf. This is all mine. Mr Connor, I am so excited to be working with you. <laughs> Me too. I was just telling Carla all about my honeymoon. Yes, she was. But we are very, very, very busy this morning, aren't we, Johnny? So, just to be clear, Sally sits where? I'm right here next to you, Mr Connor. QC, Sal. Yes, Mrs Connor. QC? Quality control. Sally, she likes it when we, you know, reduce mundane little tasks to catch your little sound bites. I can't work with her. Well, why not? She can't sit in here. What do you mean she can't sit in here? That voice. What's wrong with it? it goes right through me. I can't be in the same room as her. My ears might bleed. <laughs> I suppose it is quite irritating. I ain't come to mention it. We'll sack her. <laughs> come on, you can't just sack her just because her voice grates on you. <laughs> can't she work out there? Funnily enough, I was actually wondering whether we still need a PA, you know? Because we could get Ali here to do more admin. I've never had a PA in my life. Oh, I'm not surprised you with your abacus and your slate. Is she a good machinist or not? She's world class. Then I suggest we demote her. Okay, that's fine by me. So, can you just, you know, let her know? Me let her know? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is your call, Johnny Connor. You want to demote Sally Webster? Oh, beg your pardon. Sally Metcalf. You can do it yourself. An industrial tribunal. That's what she's been threatening. Well, she's just sulking. Give her a day or two to acclimatise. I don't know. She looks pretty cross. She hasn't done a stitch of work all day. Well, you could always appeal to her vanity. How would I do that? Oh, come on, Johnny. You're a man of the world. Those girls have got very fragile egos. Sally's is more fragile than most. Oh, you just got to make her feel special. She will put you in your hands. You think it's that simple? Oh, listen, between you and me, she likes to feel like she's mates, you know, with the boss. I have to pull that trip with her every once in a while. Just you know, take her for a drink. Tell her what a fabulous machine she bird she is. Make her, I don't know, supervisor. I can't take you for a drink. Why not? That voice. Look who I found. Wow, I was just passing. Ah, that's code for he had to speak to Emily. Oh. No, we were trying to sort out the church Christmas calendar. We might have to move the musical afternoon to the church hall. There's a whole brawl. A queen of life, you must lead a little bit. Come on. There's a little bit more to it than that. Huh? What did he say to her? Whatever it was, it worked. Honestly, she's insufferable. Something never changed, then. Uh, have I got an irritating voice? 